The Golden State Warriors have completely bounced back. After their season looked done for good, being down 2-0 to an electric Sacramento Kings squad, the Dubs rallied off two huge wins at Chase Center, including a blowout win in Game 3 without Draymond and Gary Payton II. But there were a few huge adjustments the Warriors made in Game 4 to get a crucial gritty win and save their season. Let's go over what those adjustments were and break down the key players that facilitated a huge Game 4 victory. First off, we have to address Draymond Green. He came off the bench for the first time since 2014. Kind of crazy if you think about it, but I think the craziest part about that situation was that Draymond actually elected to come off the bench. He actually brought it up to Steve Kerr first, and Steve Kerr thought about it, and he was like, yeah, you know what? We'll have Draymond come off the bench, and he was absolutely amazing. 12 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. He was 3 of 14 from the field, but he was 6 of 6 from the free throw line, and he was a plus 8 in a 1 point win. But not only that, his defense in the fourth quarter was absolutely amazing. Draymond was doing everything you'd want him to in a crucial game like this. But really, the key thing that the Warriors did and the key change that they made to really help facilitate this win was putting Draymond on De'Aaron Fox. This was to start the second half. Draymond did start the second half instead of Jordan Poole, and it worked out quite a bit. De'Aaron Fox was definitely minimized in that third quarter, and Draymond did a great job of not letting him get to his spot. But not only that, right? Pretty much everybody else had great games. Steph Curry was being Steph Curry, 32 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and was a plus 7. But I also think someone huge in this game was Klay Thompson. Um, he definitely got more involved. It seemed like the Warriors were using him in more isos and off-ball screens. He ended up having a great game, 26 points, 9 of 15 from the field, 4 of 9 from 3. And he just made some really, really difficult shots. He took many shots where I was like, Klay, why are you taking that? But then he ended up making them and hitting nothing but net. But he's Klay Thompson at the end of the day, and he definitely had the biggest impact on this game, plus 22, and his just two-way abilities this game were huge. But really, an underrated player in this series has definitely been Kevon Looney. His rebounding in IQ has just been on another level. Once again, 14 rebounds in this game and 6 assists. He almost got a 20 rebound triple double last game. So to follow that up again with 14 rebounds and 6 assists was amazing. And Looney's going to be crucial for them to win this series because, look, Draymond can guard Sabonis, but at the end of the day, you're going to need somebody who's more a traditional center and has some size to keep up with Sabonis. You're going to need somebody like that to guard Sabonis. And so Looney's been huge for that, but not only that, right? His passing ability and rebounding abilities are so, so big. And it's kind of crazy because Looney's been pretty much a secondary playmaker. He plays off of Steph and Clay's gravity, right? So when he's in the pick and rolls, right, Steph gives him a pass, and Looney often makes the right read out of those plays. And it's been really, really cool to see. Looney has just expanded his game. He's already having a career year. You know, he's had two straight seasons where he's played every single game, and it's a testament to his work ethic. You know, he's a very injury-prone player early on in his career. So to see him this healthy and playing this well is just awesome to see. But then we also got a few other players to get to with this win. First, it's Wiggins' defense. He had some amazing, amazing blocks. His defense has really been key too um, over the last two games for the Warriors. He had 18 points, 8 rebounds, 2 steals, and 4 blocks in this game. Wiggins is kind of playing like a 6-7 center in a sense because in the regular season, Wiggins only averages around 4-5 to five rebounds per game. But in the playoffs the past couple years, he stepped it up to about Eight. He's a rebounding machine. His athleticism, his motor, um, his willingness to box out and just pursue the basketball, it's been really huge for this team. And like I said, the blocking has been really good as well. He's just absolutely stuffed guys at the rim. I mean, there's been so many times where Davion Mitchell, uh, Fox, Monk, they think they got a shot at a free layup. And no, Wiggins comes out of nowhere and just stuffs them off the backboard. And that's been pretty cool to see in the series as well. But also one other player that's been playing solid overall in the series is definitely Jordan Poole. He's had decent efficiency overall. He's done a great job at attacking the rim and not selling. And sure, has he, you know, set all times for threes and taken some maybe unnecessary shots? Sure, but he's doing a great job of getting to the free throw line and really putting pressure on that Kings defense that has really struggled defending the paint all year long. He was also 8 of 15 from the field today, um, had 22 points and four assists. 
And then Moses Moody, kind of coming out of nowhere. Uh, Kuminga hasn't gotten much playing time in the series, which I have been a bit surprised about overall, considering how much of an increased role he had in the regular season. Uh, maybe it's because of his three-point shooting. Maybe just uh, Steve Kerr doesn't trust him yet in the playoffs. I don't know. But Moody has been pretty reliable in the playoffs. He was last year. He was kind of a plug-and-play type guy that you could use. Uh, Moody was very good in the Maverick series in the Western Conference Finals last year. And he's continuing that good play in this year's playoffs. He only made one three in game four, but he made a couple in game three and he's just been solid just kind of been like i said a plug and play type guy and he's been getting minutes over lamb and kuminga which definitely says a lot about steve kerr's trust in moody but i think the one concern i have from this win and definitely from the game three win as well is their bench production now i really don't think you know with the low bench production in game four i don't really think it tells you a lot um but it is a little bit concerning um you can see the numbers up on the screen just not very much scoring, um, not very much rebounding, assist, really anything for that matter. And yes, Moody did make his only shot, at, and I get it, Gary Payton wasn't really featured much in offense. He's mostly in there to guard De'Aaron Fox, so I understand that. Um, but bench production is going to be a bit of a concern. That's why I'm a little bit surprised that Steve Kerr hasn't played Kuminga because of the abilities he's shown, especially late in the season. I mean, Kuminga was averaging around 15 points a game for the last 20 games of the season, so I would think that you'd want to use him more to get that bench production up. Up. Um, but yeah, that will be a concern for the Warriors. Curry's had to play a lot of minutes. Um, they've really struggled in this series without Curry on the floor. So those are really my two big concerns with the Dubs going for. Not only if they win this series against the Kings, but also in future rounds. And the main reason why I wanted to make this video was that Draymond is coming off the bench, right? And he hadn't done that in so long. The fact that he was willing to do that and said, you know what? I'm going to put team success, you know, over my own success. I don't care if I come off the bench as long as we're winning. And that definitely says a lot about Draymond. I get all the stuff that's happened with him lately, um, but he definitely showed that he is a really good team player in that sense. And he put the betterment of the team over himself. And so I really appreciate that from Draymond. And also the air switch, right, was Draymond getting to guard De'Aaron Fox and um, Wiggins. And, you know, we've had other guys on De'Aaron Fox, but having Draymond on him, I think, really helped. And you can see De'Aaron Fox's impact was definitely minimized in that second half. So huge win from the Warriors overall. Hopefully they can keep this up. Don't know if they'll win the series. I hope they'll win the series. Um, I think they have all the momentum in their favor right now. They just got to get one on the road and they will play either Memphis or the Lakers in the next round. So Thank you for watching the breakdown. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.